Temperature-wise, still on the cooler side, but we have seen a big change across the state of Texas as that low-pressure system is bringing that snow towards parts of the northern parts of the state, as well as the rain that has moved well off towards the east and northeast and towards parts of the northeastern United States, and then leaving mostly clear skies for us back here in the state of Texas. Have seen some low clouds kind of moving off in towards the west, eastern parts of the state, rather, as well as some high clouds kind of moving in from the northwest. Again, uh, otherwise here in the Contra Valley, been seeing mostly clear skies, a few passing clouds, again, one or two, but otherwise it has been a nice blue sky kind of day, but it has been on the cooler side. Temperatures struggling to kind of warm up despite the sunshine. Temperatures only into the uh, low 50s. We're right now at 50 degrees in downtown San Angelo. Dew points into the upper 20s. Again, it kind of acts as our floor, likely seeing us get down into those upper 20s for our overnight lows. And the winds right now out of the north at 10 miles per hour. Those have started to take a bit of a break. We're going to expect those winds to kind of settle down as we go through the evening hours and going into Thursday for you across the area. 50s for most of us. Again, 50 in Brady, Eden, as well as Merton, in addition to us here in San Angelo. So again, as we kind of go in towards the next several hours, we'll see those temperatures start to ease back down into the 40s once we get past sunset. Those overnight lows, though, could be getting down into those upper upper 20s and low 30s for the overnight lows into the early morning. So starting off your day, it's going to be a little bit on the cold side. Again, one of the reasons we do have those warming centers kind of opening up here in the next hour. Again, freezing again tonight. We'll get down to 28. Clear skies, though. Again, that's going to allow for those temperatures kind of radiate back out into the atmosphere. So we'll see those uh, lows drop down below freezing for the entire Concho Valley. And again, another cool one for us tomorrow. Temperatures running about 10 degrees below average, only reaching into the low 50s. Normally see our afternoon highs into the low 60s. Still going to see plenty of blue skies, and we'll start to see those winds start to calm down a bit as well. Again, northeasterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And it's going to be a fairly quiet conditions going into your Thursday, but it doesn't last all that long. We will see those winds start to pick back up as we go in towards your Friday. That's going to turn more out of the south and southwest. That can pick up another warming trend. We'll see those temperatures start to increase a little bit for us on Friday, but we'll see the more significant increase in the temperatures as we go in towards your Saturday. And that's going to be a very quick warm up because we're already kind of keeping an eye on our next system kind of bringing us some winter weather back into the area as we go in towards next week. So we're going to see that cold air really kind of dive in and it kind of stalls out right along the Texas Panhandle and towards parts of Oklahoma while we see the winds more out of the southwest. So again, we're going to see a fairly stalled out system with the colder air stuck off towards the north. And with that, well, as we see some of that moisture start to work its way in towards our area for next week, we could be seeing some wintry precip kind of making its return. Unfortunately, not expecting any rain with the event on Saturday. We'll see the moisture kind of move in, but most of the rain stays well off towards the east. As we get in towards next week, though, Monday and Tuesday could be seeing some very isolated showers. Tuesday, again, Again, seeing how we could see that wintry precip into the northern parts of the Concho Valley and for much of the northern parts of Texas. So we're going to be watching that as we get closer towards next week. Otherwise, fairly quiet conditions for the rest of this week. We'll see those temperatures slowly warming back up into the 60s for the weekend with another cold front due next week.